Hey, do you like my shirt? When Sierra, thank you, Sierra, gave this to me for Christmas, I couldn't button it up. I, I wore it unbuttoned over the top of a black tank, tank shirt, but I love the Harley Davidson look of it. It's got the girly pink and I wanted to be able to button it up. So part of my goal was to, my big goal is to arrive at a healthy weight. And actually what I, my goal is to have good health and the weight, a healthy weight is a good side effect of it. We have been working together in Changeology five steps to realizing your goals and resolutions. And whatever your goal is, the steps are the same. And we're going through those, we're going through them together. I'm loving it. Today we're on page 106 of the book and we're gonna write it down. You're gonna write your goal. You're gonna write the pros, why you're changing. Cause we are finalizing, we're almost through the prep step. Oh, there's two pages left in the prep phase. And um, then we're gonna move to action perspiration stage. They're all in peas, bunch of peas. Um, okay, the pros of changing, you're going to write the cons of your change because you want to be vigilant of those. You won't want to be blind to the fact that, you know, cookies really do taste delicious and you're going to might be have to have less of them. Um, you're going to know your triggers that when I get off a stressful work phone call, the first thing I want to do is reach for chocolate. You want to know the reinforcers of my problem. You know, if I go to a friend's house and she's opening the Tupperware container of cookies and that smell is wafting to me and she's going, eat me, eat me, you know, I love cookies. I love my friend. That's a trigger. I'm going to eat those cookies. Uh, the And that reinforces my problem. The negative consequences of the problem that I need to forget. If I don't get my weight under control, if I don't become healthy, well, okay, actually for me, my you're writing down yours, but my negative consequences, nine years ago, I applied, 10 years now, 10 years ago, I applied for life insurance for a 10 year term plan. The company turned me down because they didn't want to bet their money that I would live another 10 years. Well, haha, -ha, I, that was 10 years ago. I made it through, had, I, had they accepted me, I would have been paying my premiums all that time, but that was a real wake up call for me. And that's a negative consequence. And if I do not get my health, do not maintain my health vigilantly. I want to go another 10 years. A negative consequence would not be going that. I want to see my daughter graduate, my granddaughter graduate from high school. Uh, I've got members of my change team assembled. You're going to write that down. You're going to write down healthy alternative or opposites of the problem. When I feel like eating a cookie, um, I can go jump on the mini tramp to get rid of the stresses that I'm feeling. I can do some deep breathing. What are my healthy alternatives? Um, lessons to learn from previous failures. Okay, don't beat yourself up. It's good. It's good that you failed because now you've realized what, what, to, what to do, what not to do. You've got some experience. Let's get new habits. So what lessons did you learn? Inspiring words, images from my first week. Write those down and my go start day. What day are we going to start and take action? Once this action is in place, um, put it in a prominent place. Tell people. I mean, shout it off of Facebook. Whatever it takes to keep you committed to this plan. We're going to do a self-check in the next video. I love you. I'm glad you're a part of this.